This is Victoria's Premier Daniel Andrews, along with his Education Minister James Molino. I have a serious question for these two gentlemen, but first, some context. The following was taken from articles recently published in the Australian and Herald Sun newspapers. Victorian students will be taught about male privilege and how masculinity encourages control and dominance over women as part of a mandatory new school subject aimed at combating family violence. The Victorian government will push ahead with the rollout of its $21.8 million Respectful Relationships Education Program, despite claims the program fails to consider the multiple and complex drivers of family violence, ignores male victims and amounts to the brainwashing of children. Evidence has emerged that the program risks alienating men by presenting all men as bad and all women as victims, a point highlighted in a report evaluating a pilot of the program in 19 schools last year. Part of the Year 7 and 8 curriculum teaches students that being born male, you have advantages, such as being overly represented in the public sphere, and this will be true whether you personally approve or think you are entitled to this privilege. While the Year 11 and 12 curriculum emphasises, an awareness of the existence of male privilege is critical in understanding why there is a need for feminist perspectives and education on gender at all. Jeremy Samet, a senior research fellow at the Centre for Independent Studies, criticised the program calling it taxpayer-funded indoctrination of children. Referring to Australia's recent Royal Commission for Domestic Violence, Kevin Donnelly, a senior research fellow at the Australian Catholic University, said the program was biased and lacked objectivity and balance. The Royal Commission found that 25% of victims of family violence are men, and there's little, if anything, in there that acknowledges the impact of violence on men and young boys. Education Minister James Molino dismissed concerns over the program. We will not stand by while one woman in Australia is killed every week through domestic violence, Mr Molino said. It's astounding anyone could think teaching our kids about respect for other people is a bad thing. I immediately noticed two issues with the Education Minister's statement. Firstly, he's the Victorian State Education Minister, not the Australian National Education Minister. So when he makes a statement about an issue like this, he should keep it relevant to Victoria. And Victoria doesn't see one woman killed every week as a result of domestic violence. Victoria sees one woman killed every five weeks as a result of domestic violence. I think the way he quoted a national statistic when commenting on a state issue is a bit misleading. And secondly, nobody thinks teaching kids respect for other people is a bad thing. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about indoctrinating kids into feminist ideology. This program teaches kids about male privilege, which is not a widely accepted concept, but one that exists only in feminist theory. In my opinion, he has again attempted to mislead the public by drastically oversimplifying the situation. All this got me thinking about how bad domestic violence actually is in Victoria. I recalled a speech given by then state opposition leader Daniel Andrews at a 2014 Labor Party conference, in which he gave the impression that Victoria was facing a domestic violence crisis. There's something else I want to talk to you about today. Something that's so wrong, it obscures everything else that is right. Family violence is a national emergency. Family violence ruins lives. Awareness means little if the system is broken. And our system is. One woman is murdered by her current or former partner each and every week. They seem to love using that one woman is killed by her partner every week statistic, even though it's a national statistic, not a state one. But regardless, if the Premier is saying it's happening at emergency proportions, it's worth having a look into. I took the annual number of female deaths in Victoria due to domestic violence and converted it into a per million of population figure in order to compare it with other states and countries around the world. So it turns out that in Victoria there are 1.78 female deaths for every million people due to domestic violence. I did the same calculation for New South Wales, Victoria's neighbouring state. It has 1.81 female deaths for every million people due to domestic violence. Then I had a look at some places outside of Australia. The state of Illinois has 2.71 deaths per million people. Wisconsin has 3.65 deaths per million people. Arizona has 7.72 deaths per million people. Fucking hell, settle down Arizona. Britain has 2.34 deaths per million people, and New Zealand has 2.9 deaths per million people. I picked these six other places at random, and Victoria has the lowest rate of female deaths due to domestic violence out of all of them. So when my Premier says something like, Family violence is a national emergency. I think two things. You are the Premier of Victoria. Worry about Victoria. And secondly, 
you are completely full of shit. Now, last year the Premier and his Education Minister released new guidelines for Victorian public schools which banned the teaching of any religious instruction in classrooms as a result of continued pressure from parent-run group Fairness in Religion in Schools. The group's website states, no family should have to feel as if the government is using its power to force children into school to also indoctrinate them into a religious belief system. So my question for the Premier and his Education Minister is if the Victorian government is so concerned about religious indoctrination in public schools, why is it actively implementing ideological indoctrination in public schools? It seems very hypocritical. I'd really like to hear back from the Premier or the Education Minister about this, so if you live in Victoria, or even if you don't, please help me ensure the question is received loud and clear. Cheers. You know, watching my channel grow as quickly as it has, has been fucking incredible. It's nice to know that there's so many people out there who enjoy watching my videos as much as I enjoy making them. Like anyone else, I've got cubs to feed and bills to pay, so I really appreciate all the support that I get. It allows me to create and publish better videos at a faster rate. If you'd like to throw something in the hat as well, you can either support my videos on a continuing basis through Patreon or by making a one-time donation via PayPal. You'll find links in the description. If you can't or don't want to, that's okay too. You can help my channel grow by liking and sharing this video. Thanks for watching.